Hi everyone, welcome to Scholarship YouTube channel. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about Goldilocks zone. So you frequently come across this word called Goldilocks zone related to the planets or exoplanets in the universe. Now we will try to understand what is a Goldilocks zone. So we will try, uh, try to understand about the Goldilocks zone taking example of our own solar system. Okay. So when you look at the planets like Mercury, Venus, where they are very close to sun right and you know they are the hottest planets venus is the hottest planet followed by mercury right and if you move away from the sun when you look at the planets like uranus and neptune they are ice gains they are dominated by ice you can understand the difference here the material in mercury venus is the water if there is any moisture it will be in the form of vapor right the planets which are close to the sun in case of uranus and neptune the gases are in the form of ice right that means here the temperatures are too high so water is in the form of vapor right and in case of uranus and neptune the matter is in the form of ice because temperatures are very low right and if you look at the zone between this planet that is earth and mars are actually in the habitable zone where the liquid stays in liquid form so that's why earth is a blue planet dominated by water because it is in this exact balance between this hottest planets and coldest planets. So that's why here the matter is in the form of liquid that is water and you know water is a main source of life. Right. So the places which are located in any solar system like it is our own solar system is dominated by sun. There are many other systems like that revolving many planets revolving other stars so here where the planets are located exactly between these hottest and coldest planets where matter remains in the form of liquid is called as habitable zone and these zones are also called as goldilocks zones so if you know there is no wonder that why we are launching many satellites to understand about mars because mars also falls under this goldilocks zone and scientists believe that there are some kind of water may be existing in mars so that's why in from India also we have sent a satellite called Mangalyan to study about Mars which is in the habitable zone or it is also called as the Goldilocks zone. I hope you got an understanding regarding what is an Goldilocks zone. So if you like this video please hit like button and share with your friends. Thank you.